how to solve square root down 2 factorial plus 6i so first of all i can see it will be square root 2 factorial it will be 2 times 1 plus 6i then i can see it will be square root 2 plus 6i then let square root 2 plus 6i is equal to x plus i y then I can say square root 2 plus 6i is equal to x plus i y. I use both sides whole squared. Then I can see it will be 2 plus 6i is equal to. Look, this is a plus b whole squared. It will be a square plus 2ab plus b squared. According to these rules, I can say here is x square plus 2xy. Here is i y plus b squared. So i squared y square then i can say here is 2 plus 6 i is equal to x square and here is i square it will be minus 1 so minus 1 times plus it will be minus and here is y square and it will be 2 x y i now if i compare the real part and imaginary part in this equation so i can say here is x square minus y square is equal to 2 and here is 2xy is equal to 6. So it is our first equation and it is our second equation. Then we are find out what is the value of x square plus y square. So we know that x square plus y square whole square is equal to x square minus y square whole square plus 4ab. So 4 here is x square and y square. Then I can say here is x square minus y square it will be 2 so 2 square plus it will be 2 x y bracket power is 2 then I can say it will be 4 plus and here is 6 because of that 2 x y it will be 6 square so it will be 40 because of that 6 square it will be 36 plus 4 it will be 40 so we'll find out the below of x square plus y square whole square is equal to 40 then I use both sides square root so I can see easily here is x square plus y square is equal to square root 40 uh, it will be square root 4 times 10 then I can say x square plus y square is equal to 2 square root 10 because of that square root 4 it will be 2 then it is our third equation so our second equation is a uh, uh, our first equation is x square minus y square is equal to 2 so I can say x square minus y square is equal to 2 so this is our first equation now I add third equation and first equation so I can see easily x square plus x square it will be 2x square and y square minus y square it will be 0 and it will be 2 square root 10 plus 2 then i can say here is 2 x squared is equal to 2 is common so it will be square root 10 plus 1 then i can say this to do this to cancel so we are find out here is x square is equal to square root 10 plus 1 then if i use both side square root then i can see it will be x is equal to plus minus square root down square root 10 plus 1 then if I subtract both equation so I can say third equation minus first equation so it will be x square minus x square it will be 0 and y square minus y square it will be plus so it will be 2y square because of that minus minus it will be plus and it will be 2 square root 10 minus 2 then I can say 2y square is equal to here is 2 is common it will be square root 10 minus 1 2 to cancel so we are find out square root 2 square y square it will be square root 10 minus 1 then if I use both sides square root so I can say y is equal to plus minus square root down square root 10 minus 1 so we find out uh, the value of x is plus minus square root down square root 10 plus 1 and y is equal to plus minus square root down square root 10 minus 1 but remember that we are at square root 2 
plus 6i is equal to x plus i y. So I can say in this case square root 2 plus 6i is equal to x plus i y. Then I can say here is x is equal to plus minus square root down square root 10 plus 1 and here is plus so it will be plus and here is y is equal to plus minus the square root this is i and it will be plus minus square root down square root 10 minus 1 so i can say here is plus minus is common so plus minus and it will be square root down square root 10 plus 1 plus it will be i times square root square root 10 minus 1 so this is our final answer